So here are 10 essential things you have to do before traveling to Cuba. Number one is getting yourself a tourist card. It can typically be obtained at the airport, but not always, so you have to check. Second, you have to have a valid travel insurance with healthcare coverage, otherwise they will not let you in. Third, you have to make sure you bring plenty of cash, preferably US dollars, otherwise your vacation will end up being three times as expensive as the unofficial exchange rate is much better than the official ones. If you take out money uh, at the airport with a card or change in a bank, you will only get 120 pesos. Otherwise, you can get approximately 300 and 350. Four, bring all the toiletry essentials that you need, especially toothpaste, shavers, femper products, shampoo. You don't need to bring soap, as that is normally provided for by the Airbnbs. Five, bring adapters, especially if you come from Europe or from the UK. Six, make sure you download the app La Nave. That is the local version of Uber. It will make transportation much easier for you and you will avoid getting cheated by taxi drivers that will spot that you're a tourist and will charge three times as much. You have to download it before coming to Cuba because in Cuba it is difficult to download it. App Store doesn't work from here and internet is quite difficult. But once you have it, it works perfectly. Seven, get yourself a good carry-on. Uh, otherwise, you might lose things at the airport and you will have to stand in, stand in very long lines. Eight, make sure you have a good Airbnb booking before coming. There are not lots of very nice places, especially in the Vedado neighborhood. Where you choose to stay will greatly influence the quality of your vacation. A lot of travelers decide to stay in the historic center. In my opinion, that is a big mistake because there is a lot of crime, a lot of garbage, a lot of noise. It is much better to stay in the Vedado area, which is a bit outside the city. You find very nice places like this place. Um, the quality of the houses are better. The maintenance is better. There is no crime. Um, and um, it is just a very short taxi drive into the historic center, uh, which is nice to see, but can be very, very challenging to uh, stay at over a longer period of time. So here you see, for instance, Berardo, close to Hotel President, uh, which is quiet and relatively uh, nice, while when you go to the old city, it will get a lot noisier and there will be a lot of garbage and you're also subject to more crime there. Nine, make sure you bring suntan lotion of good quality and prepare for a few days by the beach. Even from Havana, you can go to the beach. It's a very, very short ride out there and there is really no need to go to Varadero. And 10, finally check out my other videos and travel advice on how to go to Cuba. Uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.